good morning all of you so uh, this is your first class for this particular course so first i'd like to introduce you all with this course the course name is environmental studies and its effect and the factors related to it the course code that you will be reading is envs 1001 so basically in today's first class we will uh, try to focus and understand about what is the basics of the environmental studies that is introduction to the environment what are its different types of components and what are the interrelationships between them now what are the prerequisites see before studying this particular subject you need to know the certain basics about your environment so there are these four points which are the actual prerequisites but to summarize these prerequisites uh, the what the things that you should know is first in environment what do you mean by environment that is if i go by the 10 plus 2 level of knowledge environment is anything that is surrounding us right it may include any type of living organisms or it can also include any type of non living things now what do you mean by non living things or the knowledge of that that is air water soil right these are the three major components which are surrounding our earth surface and which comprises our environment so basically the prerequisite for studying this subject is you should know what is the importance of these factors and how these factors in various ways are related with the life of the human beings and also with the other things which are present on this earth surface now this is the basic knowledge but as we will progress to the other parts of it we will get to know that environment is not only about it it has some sub components also that is and some sub criteria that is there are many things of the environmental studies which are also related with your economic growth of the countries with the future conditions that is you have heard about renewable sources non renewable sources so how these resources and their utilization and ultimately their effect on economy is related with the basics of these environmental studies right so next is objective now why we are studying this particular subject is there are five basic objectives for studying this subject first is awareness what do you mean by awareness awareness means having the knowledge that is the basic understanding of the environment now if as student or as an individual if we do not get to know what all things are there in our environment then obviously what is the point of studying this subject how can we solve the environmental issues so basics is having the knowledge and the awareness among the people that yes we have all these things in our environment and it is very much related with our day to day living style and also with our growth as a individual as a society next important thing is attitude now what do you mean by attitude attitude means people should have the strong feelings and the concern that regarding the protection of the environment you must have heard that nowadays the pollution is one of the major criteria which is affecting the human lives now why it has reached to this stage some way or the other it is related with our attitude as a human being why because maybe as a society we have increased we have developed in our standard of living the way we take up the things but we somewhere or the other we have become little ignorant or uh, little or we are giving in a way little importance to the environment that is the basic from where we are taking up so much of things so attitude is people should have the concern that yes we need to save our environment we need to save our resources so that it is not only we who get benefited but also the our coming up generation that is the future generation should also get the values and should get be able to get the advantages of this next is skills see pollution is just one of the problem that is a major concern nowadays related to environment just like pollution there are several other problems which are related with the environment so 
first of all apart from knowledge people need to have the skills so that if we have the skills then only we will be able to find out the solutions that what all things should be done or what all measures should be taken by the government or by the society as a whole so that we can protect our environment for a sustainable development now after the objective we will come to the basic part okay. now in these two slides we will study about the atmosphere so where we have started we have basically started with the four main segments of the environment that is lithosphere biosphere um, hydrosphere and atmosphere now out of that as i have already mentioned that atmosphere is a very important segment of earth surface now in these particular slides we will be concentrating about the segments of atmosphere now as you can see in this particular diagram also that is this is a schematic diagram of the layers of atmosphere so if you have to if we have to explain the structure of atmosphere how we can do that so the structure of atmosphere can be basically divided into four sections starting from the nearest section which is there near the earth surface troposphere next comes the stratosphere third is the mesosphere and last is the thermosphere now starting with the first layer that is the troposphere now this particular layer is nearest to our earth surface that is and what is the characteristics of troposphere is as we move through the troposphere the temperature decreases from the along with the height that is as we are moving up to the troposphere then what happens as you are moving up the temperature also gradually decreases with height and the average temperature drop is around 15 degrees celsius which is at the sea level up to minus 56.5 degrees celsius at an average height of 11000 meter above the sea level that is the temperature drop how does it vary that is below that is the basic layer of the troposphere which is just near to the earth surface has around 15 degrees celsius and as you are moving up from the sea level sea level you can also call it as earth surface as you are moving up from the earth surface the temperature decreases from 15 degree celsius to minus 56.5 degree celsius the second important characteristic of troposphere is the topmost layer of the troposphere is known as tropopause and this is the layer that after which the stratosphere that is the next next segment of the atmosphere start so we can also uh explain tropopause as a transition layer between troposphere and the stratosphere now the next segment of the atmosphere comes as the stratosphere right what is the characteristic now in stratosphere the temperature increases with height that is within the stratosphere segment as you move up the temperature will increase slowly that is from minus 56.5 degree celsius which was there in the topmost layer of the tropopause as we are going through the stratosphere region we can see that the temperature increases from minus 56.5 degree celsius to minus 2.5 degree celsius and what is the height it is above at a height of 15000 meters from the sea level now out of all the segments of atmosphere stratosphere is the most important segment why because stratosphere consists of a very important layer that is the ozone layer and what is the importance of this ozone layer ozone layer is actually the layer that saves the human life and the living organisms on the earth surface from the harmful uv radiations of the earth right now the next segment of the atmosphere is mesosphere and at the end we have thermosphere now mesosphere is just after the stratosphere region theek hai if this layer extends up to 80 kilometers from the earth surface and in this layer also the characteristic feature is as you move through the mesosphere the temperature decreases with height now here as you have seen the top of the stratosphere was having the temperature of minus 2.5 degrees celsius now as i have said the temperature decreases so from minus 2.5 degrees celsius now the temperature decreases to Minus ninety degrees Celsius, and what is the height? It is at a height of ninety thousand meters from the Earth's surface. 
what is the characteristic of mesosphere this is the coldest layer of the atmosphere right just like mesosphere uh, there was tropopause in the troposphere similarly in the mesosphere we have mesopause so what is mesopause mesopause is again a transition layer between mesosphere and thermosphere now the last segment of the atmosphere is known as thermosphere right so just so first layer is troposphere then stratosphere then mesosphere and then comes the thermosphere so thermosphere is the topmost layer and in thermosphere region the temperature increases with increasing height so as we are increasing in height in thermosphere just the opposite of mesosphere the temperature increases so at the end we why we are studying this particular avia subject that is because of the four main important reason first is the environmental issues are not of national importance nowadays they are of international importance because the world is facing the major threats such as global issue, global warming issue ozone layer depletion issue marine pollution biodiversity loss and also apart from this the air pollution these are the major concerns or threats not only to the society but also for our environment so for dealing or finding out the solution for these particular problems we need to have the knowledge of environmental studies second nowadays we are talking of development why because every developing country wants to get the status of being developed countries and the developed and the already developed countries wants to maintain their status as a developed countries but what is the basic uh, source of development that is the economic growth now economic growth is based on four main pillars urbanization industrial growth transportation system and agriculture now as a country we are developing of course in these four directions but along with this development we are also affecting our environment so we need to along so we have to find out a way so that we can also maintain the development economic development and also can protect our environment third major reason or importance of eva studies is the population effect of population on our environmental resources now this is very this can be very easily understood increase in pollution or increase in population means more amount of uh, pressure on the existing natural resources because see our natural resources are limited in amount whether we talk of air resources water resources land resources all the things that we are utilizing today are in limited amount so if our population level increases much beyond the optimized limit then we have the major concern that we won't be able to reserve our natural resources and the fourth main importance of eva studies is to find the alternate solution see till three points we have discussed about the different types of pollutions but as an individual as a society we have to have the knowledge of all this subject so that we can find out the proper solutions to all these problems why to develop as a citizen to protect our earth and also to ensure a sustainable development so that both the present generation as well as the future generation can be benefited